Hello you lot and welcome back to Pressing Letter 2021 for yet another video and today we're like for the European Championships. Um, I'd be lying if I said that I knew the stage was today. Uh, it's actually Joe or Simsowski that warned me five minutes ago uh, or asked me if I was doing the ECs. <laughs> turns out I said I don't know when it was. Well it's now. And you would probably think that uh, because PCM has actually added the uh, ECs this year uh, that it would be a piece of cake to use them. Well, no, because you can't make a start list with them. So that's something Cyanide needs to fix for next year. Um, just allow us to make NCs, more like World Championships and EC start list, please. Uh, because as you're going to see in uh, a second, there is a strong chance that Bengal wins the um, the ECs because apparently Bengal became Italy. I don't know how. It's not my uh, my GB, by the way. Or it's, it's, I mean, it's the World GB, but it's not my start list. Uh, I think Florice made it. I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, every team uh, represents one nation. Uh, you've got here Adria Mobile of uh, Tade Pogacar, who most likely will win. Uh, as I said, bin gold for Italy, but we'll get into that um, during the stage. Nation we shall take, though, to win the European Championships is obviously going to be my team. French team, Group MFDJ. Uh, I mean, France, most likely. Uh, Romain Bardet, Benoît Cosnefroy, Warren Marguil, our beloved Thibaut Pinot, uh, who has had... An absolute hell of a, of, a, of a downgrade, but it's understandable. Valentin Madouas, Franck Bonamour, and Pierre-Luc Perrichon. Can we bring an EC jersey to France? Alrighty, whoop whoop, plus three for uh, Franck Bonamour, who actually is, I believe, the leader of the French team um, for those um, European Championships. It's also a plus four for one rider that surprised its well at the Tour de France in Franck Bonamour. Okay, who is this then? What? Wait, what? Who, who the fuck is you then? Why is Rival... Wait, what? Is this only like the Icelandic champion or something? I'm gonna guess he is. Uh, but yeah, uh, I've already played those ECs um, earlier this year on the channel. Uh, twice, I believe, with Thomas Pitcock once. Uh, and once with Matt Pedersen as I was defeating the, um, the almighty Benji Nazan. Uh, so if you guys want to see those stages... Uh, and see how I perform to see my track record on the parkour, then do feel free to do so. Um, but yeah, as I said, it's basically impossible. Um, well, it's not impossible, but it's just extremely time consuming to make the, the start list with the nation or with the national teams rather than, um, rather than the normal teams uh, because you have to basically create all of the nations as teams. So you have to create the sponsors and shit and you have to add every jersey as a team. It, it takes a long time, um, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I don't have that time. Um, I'm already way late on my uploads, uh, and I have to stream tonight, twitch.tv forward slash Um But yeah, uh, I figured it'd be a fun video to do. Uh, I need something to uh, kind of like, you know, just have fun recording videos. Um, and this is the perfect thing. We're in the climb of Kadine, 5 kilometers, average of 6.4%. We already have a few attackers. We've got Schönberger, Lipovitz, Petolin, Taggart, Andrei Kulik, Artem Nitsch, and uh, Jakub Kashmarek, and Lauk, and Raileanu. Uh, it's the great thing about this race is that the amount of riders attacking that no one has ever heard of is rather stupendous. Alright, we're gonna reach the uh, summit of um, Kandriai, meaning that we've basically done all of the mountain during uh, this, um, these ECs, only one rider dropped in uh, Geiersen from uh, Iceland, again, I, I, I'd guess, I mean, I don't guess, because it's, I mean, it says it here with the flag, uh, oh, we've got a crash, Yanni Moscon at the very, uh, very summit, the Italian rider on his home terrain, is he going to go back on his bike? Yes, he is, the uh, rider for Ben Golbani in Bruxelles during this afternoon, don't know why it's not an Italian, oh, there's no Italian team. And there's another crash involving this time Warren Barguil, um, who's kind of like my co-leader, and out of all the riders that crashed, there isn't a single good one. So, yeah, Warren, if you would like to make a slight comeback, that would be much appreciated. Thank you very much, my G. Uh, ISN is pacing, or in Goldstein, sorry, is pacing for M Mikhail, wait, what? Hold up. Mikhail Zadeh, there we go, uh, for Azerbaijan. Wow. Big ups. Thank you, Baku. Now let's be realistic, if I want to be able to win today, uh, which is a huge long shot, I need to make the race difficult, um, and I need to drop the likes of Sonic already. 
the likes of Peter Sagan, the um, the Dylan, I uh, just gonna be tough to to drop. But like all of those sprinters, climber ish. Yeah, I need to say goodbye to them. I need to like say sayonara, and you ain't winning. Um, so that's what we're gonna try and do. We're gonna try and make the race difficult for most of uh, le peloton. I have Kostnefra being protected by Perichon, and obviously solely because I um, I'm a big fan of Siopino, he's being protected by Romain Bardet. Uh, it's not the wisest of decisions, but again, what are you gonna do? Not in. Oh, in big crash, big crash, big rider on the ground. Matej Mohoric, the recent winner of a stage in Bing Bong, I think. He might have won the Queen stage in, uh, in Bing Bong, actually. Uh, but yeah, he's just uh, yeeted his body across the ground, uh, and we, we, we wish him the best. Gianni Moscon, yet again on the ground. Um, Attila Valta as well, you lose Vandenberg. I'm gonna guess that Kevin Reza is somewhere near the uh, the roads and has probably like pushed him aggressively by pure inadvertence. More crashes. Uh, evidently, this race is having um, a, a big toll on uh, the ability of certain riders to control their, their bikes. Uh, as Nelson Oliveira crashed, I think Timo Rosen as well has crashed. I think Victor Langelotti has been dropped because he's from Monaco. Uh, <laughs> that was just mean towards Victor. I'm very sorry for the riders of um, Burgos Berce. But yeah, uh, as I said, I'm trying to make the race difficult, pacing in um, each ascension of the Povo. But it's not really doing anything. Oh, huge crash, huge crash. Talia Pogacar and Mikel Landa. Adria Mobile's only leader is on the ground. Mikel Landa is probably on the ground. I mean, he's on the ground, so it's probably a, a good thing for um, any of his teammates, because that's usually when they start to excel. Um, and I still don't mean the um, program from Microsoft. Sonny, Sonny on the ground. Oh, that's big. That's big. 28 kilometers and the Italian champion and big favorite for today's EC. Well, he, EC his chance of winning gone. Many attacks. Peter Sagan. Wait, why? Peter, you're like the best sprinter here. Like your, your main rival just decided to have a one on one discussion with the floor. Peter, you dumb, dumb man. And we are in the final pogo yet again. Peter Sagan going for a move. Tadej Pogacar follows. Simon Pelo. Why? Mark Hershey? I guess Mark Hershey. Um, but we're gonna catch Peter Sagan because the man is dead. Uh, Frank Bonamor can take a nice, nice relay here uh, to try and protect Thibaut Pino. Actually, Peter Sagan is in the wheel. You know what? Bonnet. Hold up. Let's attack with Frank Bonamor. The peloton follows. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Uh, does they follow again? But Jolly does. Garza Cortina does. Yeah, I'm leading out the sprinters right now. That's not good. That's not smart. That is that is uh, quite quite dumb, actually. There goes Thibaut Pinot, because no frappe bien bon amour. Allez, mon Thibaut. Allez, mon Thibaut. Come on, son. Come on. Use the gel. Start pacing 89, something like that. I'll have Bonamour and Kosnefroy in high positions just in case. Peter Sagan is the one bridging the gap. There's a crash literally in the first positions of the peloton. Peter Sagan trying to come back. Oh, hold up. 1.8k. I'm gonna go right now with Thibaut. I'm gonna wait with uh, Bonamour and Kosnefroy. Can Thibaut come back on Sagan? No, no, nope, nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair, fair enough. Peter Sagan wins ahead of myself with Thibaut Pinot and, and Mathieu Trentin. I tried, it was fun. Peter Sagan was just too good, man. The, the man attacked four times. And he bridged me once, then bridged me twice, then attacked, and fair enough, fair enough, he deserves it. It's a win for the future rider of Total Energy. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. Peter Sagan was just uh, oddly too strong today for um, the great team of Dukla Banska. He wins ahead of Thibaut Pinot and Mathieu Trentin. Um, I mean... If I had played solely to win, I would have had a shot with Kosnefroy. Realistically, I would have had a shot with him. But it wouldn't have been fun. I would have won with Thibaut. I mean, I would have loved to win with Thibaut. So that's fair enough. That's, that's fair. I'll take P2. Nevertheless, that's where we're going to wrap up this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you didn't, please do leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more of my content in the coming days, then make sure to subscribe to the channel. As I said, later tonight, I'll be over on Twitch doing the um, PCM World Championships Classics Finals. Uh, so if you want to show me some support and just go there, that mean a lot to me. 
Um, but yeah, as I said, hope you've enjoyed it. My name is Guillaume, have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let Pass it me the go. funk, we're getting drunk in here and what comes next.